I start with uh, congratulating the degree recipients today. You have earned what you came for. You deserve our best wishes. So do your parents and guardians. The Honorable Chancellor, Mr. Hawk, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Rao, Honorable Dr. D. D. Lapang, all distinguished Vice Chancellors from different universities, my esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, friends from media. I am distinctly privileged for the distinction conferred upon me and the confidence reposed in me by the University of Science and Technology, Meghalaya. Like Dr. Lapang, I too belong to Meghalaya by birth. I am from Shillong. Had a good part of my life in Shillong. Later on, of course, I moved. That's a different story. And therefore, a university placed in the geographical location of Meghalaya, conferring such a distinction is a very, very special moment for me, very, very special for me. It's not that this is the first honorary doctorate of science I am receiving today. I received earlier. But as I say, I repeat, this is very, very special as I received from an university which is placed in my own home state. Of course, I now am in Assam. I also advise the government of Assam on higher education. So I hope I should be able to play a slightly bigger role than what I did as Vice Chancellor of Central University at Tejpur earlier. I understand I need to be brief, but I have to touch upon a few points which are a little hard for us to remember. Professor Ghosh, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Calcutta University, already had touched upon a point which I thought I should also like to make a mention. We have to catch up with the country's proposition of achieving the GER to 30 and 35 anywhere uh, by 2030. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are now hovering around 21. And in order to do that, as my colleague Dr. Ghosh has said already, it is the private players who have to come forward. Government alone cannot do, because higher education comes for price, it is very, very expensive, and thus the private players have to take a distinct position. And I'm very happy of late in the Northeast region, a number of good private institutions have come up. USDN is one, Royal Global, Don Bosco, and so forth. Uh, also, a caution note has been indicated by Dr. Ghosh, so I, I hope uh, we all take note of it that let us be careful about this standard. The higher education in the country, ladies and gentlemen, is at the crossroad, but it is our responsibility to cross the road successfully profitably. And for that, what are the orders of the day? Participatory teaching, monologue be ended, students must be given a due share for the equity and the accessibility such that they can also ventilate their mind and in this process who knows there may be five other Nobel laureates may come out. Undergraduate research, skill based education, syllabi curricular must be reviewed very very carefully and seen because unlike earlier days to some extent than in our days we were happy with the quality of education and a good certificate from a known university but gone are those days the planners the policy makers the teachers the education runners must remember students also now expect a job in their pocket when they leave any campus and it is the responsibility of ours, the planners, the institution runners, how to achieve it. And this may not be elaborated here. There should be some 
separate forum where it can be done. But the moot point is that the whole education system has to be so oriented, be it a liberal arts subject, science, or technology, students must be uh, considered specially as to how to give them the skill. Then are the ladies for what color job alone. Hence, entrepreneurship is yet another parameter on which all of us have to work, all stakeholders have to work, and the students here once they be ready that you are going to be also entrepreneurs such that you provide job to yourself, not only that, you provide to their others. And that is what the need of the hour is. And if we cannot do that, I must say with all humility that we are heading to a much bigger job. So thanks, you get mentally ready. Should we thank all those whose names cannot be known to any one of you who have made it possible to stand before you to receive this discussion here and the members of the family, my wife and my daughters. Part of their support, unprinted considerations, I will not be able to be present to them. To make a university is not a easy job. I also share with Mr. Hawk and all other faculty members, their advisors, that planning, implementation, to a fixed goal, no deviation, irrespective of criticism, is a must. I am a university for 10 years, who is occupied the first position, this being President of India's first best university award, best research award. So I know a very humble way that what it requires to bring a university of that level. And I am sure tomorrow USTM can aspire, but then has to be very, very careful like Thank you very much.